Southern Idaho, in the last 10 days, avalanches have killed nine people, and that's just in the west alone. That brings the nationwide total for the winter to 15, which is about average. Three died yesterday, one in Idaho, two in Colorado. Brittany Cooper for Idaho's First News brings us the latest from the site of Sunday's avalanche north of Ketchum. Behind me is the entrance to Frenchman's Creek, where four snowmobilers went for a ride on Sunday. Tragically, though, only three survived. It's tragic to, to lose someone from our community when they're out enjoying the conditions we have here. They were out snow machining with another couple. They were up Frenchman's Creek. They were on the trail, which is really the roadbed, uh, when this avalanche was triggered and came down and we lost uh, George at that time. 64-year-old Bellevue resident George Gilbert Martin Jr. was riding with his wife Leslie and an Oregon couple at Frenchman's Creek, 36 miles north of Ketchum. The slide happened around 2 p.m. Sunday when one of them began to walk around, stepping on a new snow slab penetrating the old layer. The slide started around 9,000 feet in elevation and ran 1,400 vertical feet. In the zone that the uh that the accident occurred in, the avalanche danger was rated high at upper elevation slopes and considerable at lower elevation slopes. So basically it was elevated. High danger means that human triggered avalanches are likely uh, as well as natural avalanches are likely. Steve Swan is visiting from Meridian with his children, enjoying some snowmobiling in central Idaho. They were 30 miles away from the avalanche at Frenchman's Creek. But we're staying in the flat areas because anytime you get a lot of moisture and a lot of snow in the last week or so, the shelves get unstable and it'll get slick and the heavy snow on top of the old snow will start to slide. And there's a few avalanches around that we've seen, but we're staying well away from them. George Martin is the third snowmobiler in Idaho to be killed so far this winter, according to avalanche.org. All but one of the 15 fatal avalanche accidents have happened in the West. North of Ketchum, Brittany Cooper, Idaho's First News. Currently, the avalanche danger is considerable, meaning that remote and human-triggered avalanches remain likely. For the latest on conditions, please visit KMVT.com, where we've provided a link to the Sawtooth Avalanche Center.